Ja. Larry Martin and I'm a solutions consultant with Beyond 20. Today I want to show you how to set your maintenance calendar on a series or group of CIs inside the CMDB. What I'm referring to is if you open a CI like the uh, server out of the box you have a maintenance calendar that you can select. Now this goes against your business hours not an actual calendar. So for example we have this maintenance window here and if we edit it, it shows us that we can have a maintenance window from Sunday from midnight until 5 a.m. However, we don't have a maintenance window on Monday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are all blank. So for this CI, this maintenance window, the only time allowed to perform service, uh, reboot the system, etc., is from on Sunday from midnight to 5 a.m. Now you may have different types of maintenance windows like uh, only on weekends out of the box you will see some that um, some CIs have this set as their maintenance window so Sunday from midnight uh, until midnight Saturday midnight to midnight but then nothing else on Monday Tuesday Wednesday now you may have your own maintenance window that you create which allows maintenance to happen seven days a week from 8 p.m. until 4 a.m. or whatever that may be um, and updating your CIs you don't want to have to go through each individual CI especially when you have thousands and pick that CI and select a maintenance window and save it and then have that new maintenance window now the maintenance windows come into play when you're doing change requests. Uh, from there, if you select a start and end date for your change that falls in outside of the maintenance window, you're going to get a warning that tells you, hey, this is outside the normal maintenance window. You should uh, submit this as an emergency change or you, know, you can override it and then CAB or whomever will uh, stop that. But once you have your maintenance window set up, you want to be able to update your servers. Now you can do a um, search to say, you know, find me all servers where the server type is application or domain controller and limit your list or, you know, based upon primary use, etc., etc. I've added the maintenance calendar here so that you can see that we have service desk hours for one, weekend for two, maintenance window for two more. Since this is the out-of-the-box system, I've only got five server CIs, but I want all of them to have the same maintenance window, and it's going to be this maintenance window calendar. Um, I'm going to use the term calendar because that's what it looks like, but it's really a business hours definition. It's not a calendar. Uh, that can confuse you when you're looking at the server and you've got this calendar icon, you've got the term maintenance calendar. Um, can lead to some confusion. Also, whenever you come in here to pick something, now all of a sudden you're seeing these maintenance windows and you're like, well, how do I pick a maintenance window in a one step? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm not going to save that record because, again, I want to have um, a couple different variances in our list so that we can see that all five of them end up being the maintenance window maintenance calendar. Alright, let's look at our one step. I've already created it and I'm doing all of this in the rich client. You can uh, go into the admin client and create a one step. But setting our maintenance window, I'm going to edit the one step. And it's simply a basic one step, no special options. Um, set my maintenance window is an update business object and I'm going to save the business object after the action because we're going to run for group and then my fields all I'm doing is selecting the maintenance calendar field which is the field on the server CI and then I'm setting the value to maintenance window so I am 
typing the exact text of the business object or business hours definition. So if I wanted that to be a different value, I need to come to ACI or go to my business hours calendar or definition and I am picking or repeating the text of that business hours definition. So I could say service space desk space hours and that text will come back and be uh, selected and that will select the exact um, business hours definition. If you're in the one step and you're trying to set it any other way you run into issues. So I'm going to go ahead and um, look at this real quick and I'll show you what I'm referring to. So a maintenance window. Well maybe I can do a prompt. Well no not really. Um, you would expect that you could but if we say text and we say valid values for a field because we would assume that for the maintenance calendar we should have some valid values but we don't there is nothing here to allow us to get to the business hours definition uh, values from a list well what list we, we don't have a list here um, so what if we go values from a collection well, what collection are we stepping through? We don't have one. So the easiest way to do this is simply to set it as um, a value and then type that value in. And we can type it in here or in here or in here. It doesn't matter as long as we type it exactly correct. So we set that. We say OK. And now with our group selected so however you edit your search we can now go to our one step one step manager set our maintenance window and run for group and now if we manually refresh because I didn't uh, include a refresh in the one step we'll see that our maintenance calendar for every server is the maintenance window and if we come in here it looks right so this is server 4391. It is our file server. So let's go create a change real quickly. Well, we're not going to completely create the change, but let's find that CI. And we're looking at config servers, all of them, our file server. And we're going to propose a start date of today. And there we are. It's telling us that our current dates selected are not in the normal maintenance window. Would you like to propose new dates or create an emergency change? And then we have the option to create our emergency change or clear our proposed dates and start over. So even though it's just a text entry, Sharewell has the intelligence to link that to that business hours calendar and be able to tell you that, hey, this date is outside of that. Anyhow, uh, we had a client that needed to know how to set the maintenance window on a number of CIs at once and I thought you know this would be a good video so here's the video I hope you find it useful please subscribe to our YouTube channel we produce these videos every week for you uh, if you have a question feel free to email us tweet at us or throw a comment in the channel and someone will respond and or will create a video for you showing how to do what you've asked thank you